Chicago deep dish pizza. So what we're doing uh, is, is making Chicago deep dish pizza so you guys can give it a try. The ingredients are pretty simple. It's four cups of flour, three tablespoons yellow cornmeal, uh, one and three quarters tablespoon of salt, um, two and three quarter teaspoons yeast, which I have proofed here. Uh, you add your dry ingredients together, stir them up a bit, um, and then put them into a mixer. You can do this by hand, but Eh, just get a mixer. Putting in the proof yeast, it has just a little bit of sugar in there, and then just like two tablespoons worth of water. Try and get it all in there. Let it proof, make sure it's bubbling. And then for oil, there's uh, four tablespoons of melted butter, two tablespoons of olive oil, and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. It's a very, uh, it's got a lot of oil in this, in this, uh, in this dough. Uh, mix it up, add one cup of water into it, and that's it. Uh, you know, make sure it all gets incorporated. It'll start to pull in. Uh, it'll seem pretty dry, but it'll it'll pull it all together. Um, and then what you're looking for is a, a dough that that's pulled everything off of the sides. It takes about five minutes to get to that point. And then what we want to do is uh, just kind of finish kneading it and uh, get it to a point where we can let it rise. You're going to have to let this rise for about two hours. And uh, I did forgot to mention, but I used all-purpose flour for this. I did, you don't for deep dish. You don't need uh, like the double lot uh, flour, like the more specific for for thin crust. Just kind of knead it up, whatever way you want. Uh, doesn't really matter. This this dough um, is is a little bit uh, was a little bit trickier to work with, um, but it was it was fairly easy. A little olive oil in the bowl um, so that you can cover the cover the dough, kind of spin it around in there, get it get it covered so that when it rises, it's um, able to do so without cracking. Just put some uh, saran wrap or something on the top. Now the tomatoes, this is probably the most important part of the whole thing is using these tomatoes from Italy. It's like DOP uh, tomatoes, just one can. Uh, they come stewed like this. These had a little bit of basil in there. And then I just grind them up. Some people do it by hand where they'll tear it or they'll, they'll crush it by hand. Um, I don't really like the big pieces. My son loves it, but since I was making it, I got to do it however I wanted to. Um, after about two hours, you can see the dough's risen probably double in size. Um, just kind of knead it down, you know, punch it down or whatever. Um, and then one of the one of the keys is to let dough rest. So I'm just cutting the cheese. Uh, here and this is mozzarella in like a block form. It's low moisture mozzarella. Um, it has a fairly, I, I think it's just like part skim mozzarella, and I'm just cutting it about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch thick. It doesn't have to be exact. And then patting out the dough, kind of making a making a round, letting gravity pull it apart, pushing it. Use flour to keep it from sticking. There's so much oil that it, it's a pretty pretty easy dough to work with. Again, I'm letting gravity just kind of pull it out, flattening it out some more, and then I'm letting it rest again because that's that's what you got to do with dough. It just makes it it keeps it from being super elastic and and kind of pulling itself back on, uh, you know, into a into a ball. Now I buttered the pan, and I'm putting Parmesan cheese in there, all along the rim. Um, and this this really has, makes a nice uh, kind of texture and taste to the to the crust. Definitely worth uh, worth doing. You can see it there. It's not too much butter. It's not too much Parmesan. Just enough to uh, give it some extra texture and taste. 
uh, once once you've kind of kneaded it out, I just give it a a good roll to to kind of thin it out. And compared to like doing this by hand, you know like hand tossing it or whatever, um, this just gives you much more consistent results and and lets you get it thin enough, uh, you know to to be good. This is a little bit thicker than thin crust. Um, thin thin crust probably be about half that. And then you just got to get it over onto your pan and then kind of work it down into the corners. With doing it this way, um, you know, you have excess and what we're going to do is just, is just cut that off with a knife, uh, trying not to cut the pan, make scratches on the pan. This is just a steel um, deep dish pizza pan. It was like 25 bucks from the store. Worth getting though if you like deep dish pizza. And then I just kind of flatten the edge a little bit um, so that there aren't too many rough edges. And I take the mozzarella, and this is about a pound and a half of mozzarella. It's a lot. It's a lot of cheese, but it's what deep dish pizza is all about. And for this one, I'm just making um, just plain cheese pizza. You could put sausage in there, uh, onions, mushrooms, black olives, whatever whatever you want on your pizza. You can you can throw in here. Um, for me, I'm kind of a purist, and and I don't I don't make this pizza a lot. Um, so it was one of those things where I just wanted to make the kind of the pure form of it. Putting the sauce on. This is just those tomatoes mashed up. It's not heated or anything. I just have it in the pot so I could have so I could use the uh, immersion blender on it. Um, but I'm giving it a pretty thick coating, coating all the cheese, and then uh, just a little bit of Parmesan on the top. And then the only other thing that we need to do is um, kind of. A little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of basil, oregano, and garlic uh, to taste. I didn't put that much on there, um, but a little bit goes along the way, a long way. That baked uh, for about 35 minutes at 480 degrees, and that's how it comes out. Um, really pretty easy. Um, takes more time when you're trying to film it, but yeah, you just take a. Thing and scoop it out. This this really turned into a, a pizza that was very similar to what you'd get in a restaurant. Like really very similar to what you'd get in a restaurant. Um, and and here I'm like you know taking a taste test for the camera. Um, and it was great. And like here I'm I'm literally my son is filming this and I'm just eating because I'm <laughs> like I'm hungry and it was really good. So. Um, Chicago deep dish pizza. It's not trying to compete with New York. It just is pizza.